How's it going, YouTube? It's Commander Wolf here. Oh boy, do I have a rant for you guys. And another video. This is Arma 3. We're going to be fighting woke zombies. And yeah, woke zombies. I can't believe uh, a U.S. judge, a Senate judge, does not know the definition of what a woman is. A woman is, if you were born female at birth, no matter what you identify as, no matter what surgery you get, no matter what, when you die, if someone digs up your body, maybe 3,000 years from now, a new generation of humans or whatever, that bone structure will show that you're a male. The only thing that you're changing is your flesh appearance. Whether you are a male or female, I don't care what you identify as. And we don't want to hear that there's a million freaking genders, because there's only two. Your chromosomes and your bone structure show that. I can look at an old textbook I have right here from my old school, and I can actually look up human anatomy. And I will actually do that. Let's scroll the page, and right here we are. Human anatomy 101. Chromosomes. There are male and there are female chromosomes. The only exception to that is a hermaphrodite, which is a medical condition, and you might actually... Let's say your parents do heroin, crack, and stuff. It could result in you having both sets of genitals. Now, why am I saying this? Because people, you need to understand that there is the definition of what a woman is. A female that is a female at birth will always stay a female. And I don't care how many people I'm upset with this. I don't care. You guys expect us to run and hide, crawl up under our beds and stop, and just let you guys walk over with us? You expect us to let you people walk all over us, brainwash our children, and do everything. No. We're not going to. We're not backing down to you. It should not. I mean, for a Senate judge to not understand basic human anatomy, that's sad. A female will always be a female, and a male will always be a male. And no matter what part of surgery you get, you're just changing your flesh. You're not changing your bone structure. Not changing anything. And you all can say that, oh, well, we can change your face to, you know, make more feminine stuff. <laughs> 3,000 years from now, well, what's going to happen? I mean, there's tests to see the gender of a person was dug up. It's your chromosomes, your bone structure, your DNA. You can't change that. So you may identify as a woman, and you may identify as a male, or you may identify as a freaking toaster. But let me tell you something. On the in the books, you're always gonna be a male, and you're always you're either male or you're either female. Now, if you're gonna identify something, keep that to yourself, please. Stop telling our children that they should be ashamed ashamed of their genders. This is not hate speech or anything. Cancel culture will probably get my video striked and removed, but you know what? We don't report you guys for the stuff you do to our kids. And I'm not going to call you people what you are. Because an amazing hero, his name's Matt, called you people what you are already on a school board. Please stop brainwashing our kids. <laughs> and for my loyal fans, by Christian conservatives, by heterosexuals, and people who are non toxic, my content is for you guys. The people we offend, oh well. Get offended, snowflakes. I don't care. I'm not racist. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care what you identify as. I don't care. I'm here to say you need to stop trying to walk all over us because it ain't funny. Okay? I'm a person who did not used to care about anything, but after seeing what Joe Biden has done to the country, to see what you people are doing to us. I mean, to have some... I, I heard this on YouTube, and I, I'm ashamed to say that it came out of a person's mouth. A person had said that he has a six-year-old, openly gay, transgender nephew. Six years old. That means a six-year-old is attracted to males. Adult males. And that is what a pedophile wants. Now, you can tell me that that... That's amazing the kid identifies as that. But tell me something. 
Do you really think that someone hasn't touched that child? Do you really think that someone hasn't essayed him? Hmm? Because for a child to identify and be attracted to something, something horrible had to been done at that child at a young age. And that child was still a young age. If brainwashing and essay, I'm going to say it right here, a sexual assault hasn't done something to warp that child's mind, the new pink-haired woke Nazis, I'm sorry to say work, woke Nazis, I don't want to say Nazi because Nazi is a horrible term, but you pink-haired, blue-haired SJWs, there we go, SJWs, brainwash that child to turn that child into something that a pedophile would just love. Pedophiles see a kid that identifies as homosexual, and they're all over that. They want that. Someone will kidnap that child, and they will either hurt him, or even worse. What's worse than hurting a child? Killing a child? That's worse. But then again, it's sickening. To have to hear a child say he identifies as that, to come out of an SJW's mouth. What is happening, America? Please wake up. This song's letter bombs from the band Green Day, and these soldiers you see before you are my own rendition of the military. They're fictional, but they're called a straight alliance of God. <laughs>
think we got them all. Now let's see what kind of soldiers we were fighting. Yep. Kind of so kind of people that want to brainwash our children. video to get striked or anything. This is not hate speech. I know what that signia stands for. I know exactly that that is the transgender pride. Not every transgender person is toxic. But the ones that are are the SJWs. The blue haired ones. The pink haired ones. The ones who just open your face. They are the ones who are in the classroom right now telling a child that they should be ashamed of their gender they're the ones that are telling kids you are not a girl you're not a male they're the ones that are making children just hate themselves when you have a little boy in kindergarten come home and tell his mom that he wants to be a girl because of stuff that he hear in the classroom you can't have stuff like that the Bible says pride is immoral and it's dangerous. Not all pride is dangerous, but these kind of people right here, the toxic ones, the SJWs, they just take it to a whole new level. They don't all want to brainwash kids. They just want to be accepted. I mean, the non-toxic ones want to be accepted in society. The toxic ones just want to push everyone else aside and just be in your face about it. These soldiers, they're fictional, but in real life, I do run a fandom that's called the Werewolf Fandom. We are all heterosexual, but we are all Christian. And I'm pretty sure there is a straight alliance of God out there. I'm pretty sure that they're heterosexual, and they're an alliance, and they trust in God. I'm a Christian conservative. I trust in the Lord. I know what the Bible says. Just because the Bible doesn't say anything about transgenderism, it doesn't mean anything. The Bible does talk about homosexuality, and I'm not even going to say anything that can get my, you know, another strike on my channel. I'm just trying to let you guys know there's being toxic, there's being non toxic. A non toxic person, like, let me explain this. Uh, in the classroom, I actually saw another YouTube post from a lesbian teacher who. Actually, she, she she chooses to keep her sexuality private from her students because she doesn't want her students to know about it. That's how teachers should teach. You shouldn't just think it's the best thing in the world to be non-binary or this or that just because Joe Biden said, you know, the president actually said that he will help you people reach your God-given potential. And because you're in the president's back pocket, you think you can get away with anything you want in life. But... We heterosexuals, we conservatives, and we Christians, as long as we run the Senate, we're not going to let you guys bully our kids, and we're not going to let you guys change our kids' identities and our children's gender. This is not a threat. We don't have guns against you. We don't have any way to stop you except for voting. And when voting fails, just like the song Letter Bomb says, it's not over until we're underground. And pretty soon, 
in the neck if something isn't get done we heterosexuals are going to be forced to homeschool our kids in underground bunkers because you people are going to be making our children gender x i mean you already have gender x that is mandatory in some states to write on birth certificates what is wrong with you america seriously for a senate judge to say what is a woman As usual, if you guys like my content, like and subscribe. And don't report this for homophobia. Did I say anything against gays? No. Did I say anything against non-toxic transgenders? No. Did I say anything against non-toxic lesbians? No. Did I say anything against queers, bisexuals? No. I said stuff against SJWs. And woke people. That's who I talked against today. And I'm pretty darn sure that they're not protected against free speech. And this is not hate speech. I did not use cuss words. I did not use derogative. All I said was facts. Like and subscribe and have an awesome day. Or night, depending on where you guys are viewing. Peace.